Hello everyone, my name is Aniken Andre and I am excited to showcase my final year project named as Credit Card Fraud Detection with Data Engineering using Google Cloud. This project is a part of my degree in Artificial Intelligence and Data Science. And this project mainly focuses on machine learning, data engineering and cloud technologies. Let me start, let me start by giving introduction and briefly explaining the problem statement also why this project is important for me. In, in today's digital world, Online payments are growing rapidly. Millions of transactions are happening each day and also fraud cases are increasing day by day. Managing this big financial data is become very important for financial institute. Our project mainly aims to detect fraudulent transactions in real time and which ensure the customer trust, security and this will also reduce the financial losses for businesses. Let's understand the problem statement. The primary issue we will address is the challenge of identifying the fraudulent transaction in real time. Most existing systems are either detect fraud too late or lack scalability for handling large volume of transaction data. According to the Federal Trade Commission, the number of credit card fraudulent report has been increasing and it has been the second largest amount of fraud report within all identified theft report. So how we will be going to detect the fraud transactions? To get no, we need to consider below point, like what kind of transaction looks normal, what kind of transaction looks like fraud, how we can predict if transaction is normal or fraudulent. So to detect this and to overcome this problem, we are presenting our solution. So we have developed a machine learning based credit card fraud detection system on Google Cloud by using advanced data engineering techniques. For our training purpose, we have used historical and demographic data. And this data we are sending in a pipeline by using Cloud PubSub, which is a messaging service in a Google Cloud. And then we are using a data flow pipeline, which will store the transaction in a Firestore and also invoke the ML model. After detection, we are storing the prediction in a BigQuery table. And then further, we are sending the notification via email to the bank as well as customer who are affected by fraudulent transaction. And lastly, we built one dashboard to visualize, monitor and to do the further improvement in a businesses. Let's understand the basic flow and something about ML model. So firstly, we are doing the data pre-processing. We have nearly 2,80,000 rows and 14 features in our data. After pre-processing, we train our model. Mainly we train three models. First one is k-means, then logistic regression and gradient boost. So after evaluating these three models, we selected the best fit model, which, which is gradient boost or can say the boosted classifier. Then after training and model selection, we exported that model uh, and deployed it. Then after integrating that model with ETL pipeline, we will be getting prediction and then further we are sending the alerts and building dashboard. And these are the some metrics like which we got with our uh, final execution model. As our data is uh, highly imbalanced, so in this particular case, we should consider evaluation metrics like precision, recall, F1 score, AOC, ROC curve, deciding that uh, our model is well trained or, or not. In the right side, you can see the schema of our data, uh, which will uh, which we have used in our project. Here, uh, these are the six column like uh, type, amount, old balance and new balance of sender old balance and new balance of receiver and is fraud column which is our target column and these are the seven column which played a key role in model training. These are the text tags which we have used in our project. Let me explain each one by one. Firstly BigQuery a data warehouse. We use a BQML command to train a machine learning model on the large data set and we imported that data set from the cloud storage to BigQuery where we did data preparation and feature engineering as well as model training. Then after the selecting the best suitable model, we deployed it on Vertex AI. Vertex AI is a machine learning platform from Google Cloud that help us to build uh, and use AI application. Then Cloud PubSub, which is a real time messaging service. Message is a, a, in the sense like um, batch data or stream data. We can do data ingestion or can say uh, send our data in a pipeline by using Cloud PubSub. Then coming to a data flow, uh, a tool for building ETL pipelines uh, and we use a Firestore, a NoSQL database to store the transaction comes in a pipeline. 
then cloud function helps us to run the code without managing any type of infrastructure the secret manager stores and use to access the uh, cred uh, sensitive credentials that can't be disclosed and by using looker studio we can create interactive dashboard and visualizations lastly the smtp server is used to send the email alerts now let's understand how our project will work so by using pre process historical and demographic data we are training our model in a bigquery data warehouse after training and exporting that model to the vertex ai platform here the training and deployment part will get completed uh, of ml model and after each transaction it will send in a pipeline by using cloud pubsub then this is the data flow which will integrate all the things and execute etl pipeline each and every transaction will stored in a nosql database that is firestore so uh, data flow will execute uh, mainly four task like reading the each and every transaction coming from the pubsub and storing the uh, these transaction in a firestore then invoking the ml model and detecting the transaction is fraud or not after prediction it will store the fraudulent transaction in fraud uh, fraud table and non fraud transaction in a non fraud table as we have created two table in a bigquery data warehouse for storing a transaction after prediction so now we have a fraud data stored in this table what we can do by using this data so we have published this data by using another pubsub topic which will send this data to this cloud function and trigger uh, after getting the transaction then it will execute the custom logic such as sending email notifications like it will send the emails to the bank as well as customer affected by fraud we are storing the credentials of smtp in a, a secret manager and the data which we have collected uh, here in this two table we have created a looker dashboard by using this data so this is the main architecture of my project now coming to the most exciting part that is demo so let's go in our cloud console so we are in a cloud console so this is the bigquery a data warehouse these are the uh, queries that i have executed for performing the analytics and model training and uh, these are the three models that we have created like k means logistic regression and boosted tree classifier you can see the model the matrix model generated and uh, these are the two tables that uh, we have created for storing the data after prediction that is fraud table and non fraud table this is the vertex ai platform uh, platform for where we imported our model from bigquery then these are the two topics of pubsub first one is for sending the uh, data or can say the transaction in a data pipeline and second one is for sending the fraudulent data to the uh, notification channel and uh, this is the firestore uh, no sql database for storing the each and every transaction coming in the etl pipeline and uh, this is the data flow interface uh, these are the pipeline i executed uh, in the past yeah uh, yes uh, there are many pipelines due to trial and error so i just enabled this button so we can just see the pipeline who is currently running and uh, this is the cloud function where um, notification channel code will be get executed like this is the code and these are the machine details and cloud shell where uh, we stored our uh, scripts and uh, here we will be going to run our script let me clear this and uh, uh, this is the command which we will be uh, going to run so let me explain this command so this is the name of our uh, pipeline script and uh, this is the path of bucket which we have created in the uh, cloud storage for storing the files and this is the name of our project region where we created this project this is the runner which will be helping us to run our pipeline and this is the path of temporary location in cloud storage for storing the temporary file this is the same uh, staging location and the setup.py.py file which will 
help us to uh, create the dependencies and uh, to run the pipeline. Now let me copy the command and execute it. It will take two to three minutes to create the worker node and resources. Let's check the data flow. Here currently there is no uh, running pipeline, but if we refresh then after some seconds, we can see here the pipeline. So you can see the pipeline currently. It will take one to two minutes to create the worker node and resources. After allocation of resources, we will run the PubSub script. We can see here the details of pipeline like job ID, then region where we created the pipeline. And uh, currently there is a one worker and these are the resource metrics for our pipeline. If we want to see the logs, then we can click here and uh, see the logs. So currently it is starting the one worker in a US center one region. This also allocated the machine. Currently in the Firestore, there is uh, no data, only there is a one uh, document is present. And in BigQuery table, uh, there is also no data. So yes, all worker have finished the startup process and we can now uh, run the script of PubSub to send the data in a pipeline. I will minimize this and uh, let me run this. So you can see the first transaction. We set here uh, that a delay of 10 second. So after each and uh, each every 10 second, the one transaction will goes in a pipeline. Let's check the Firestore. Currently there is no documents, just wait for some time. Let me refresh it. As you can see, the transactions are coming in a Firestore. Every 10 seconds, the transaction are storing in a Firestore. We can check the BigQuery table. So non-fraud transactions are stored here and fraud transaction will be going to store here. Currently there is no mail for fraudulent transaction. Transactions are storing in a BigQuery tables. Currently, there is not a single transaction as a fraud. Let's wait for some time. We can also check the logs of cloud function. There is no fraud transaction detected. Yes, it is saying that one transaction is detected. Let's check the mail. Yeah, you can see the one one means we have a mail. This mail is for customer 
and all the details of her bank account is given here and uh, like customer is lisa and and this is the mail for bank representative to take the actions customer name is lisa and uh, also in bigquery table we can see in fraud data the same customer lisa finally let me show you the dashboard i created by using looker studio so these are the kpis which shows how our business is performing and this is the calendar function you can select the date for showing the data as per your need and these are the filters you can search by id sender's names receiver's banks and country as well and this is the chart which will show the details of each and every transaction this is the geo map which will show the fraud transaction by location for countries and this is the pie chart which will show the fraudulent transaction associated with each bank i think there are mainly 15 banks in our data and this is a line chart which will show the data points changing over time like how fraud transaction increasing or decreasing year by year so so yeah this is my project as you saw how cl cloud technologies can be useful to handle real time data processing and fraud detection it was a challenging task for me and uh, also a rewarding experience where i learned a lot about uh, data engineering machine learning and uh, uh, cloud infrastructure and uh, so thank you for watching my project demo i look forward for applying these skills in uh, future projects so thank you